YouTube, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a good day. Woo! Man, it feels good to be back on the tubes, man. I know it's been a minute since I update you guys on the videos. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. But a lot been going on, man. There's been a lot with the bike. You know me, but you know we're back. Hopefully, we're back to stay this time, but as you can see man we on the beautiful 600 double r today and you guys can see the bike looks a little bit different than the last time you guys seen the video the last time you guys seen the video the bike was apart the bike wasn't running but i'm gonna pull over in a bit guys and let you guys see what the bike looks like right now and what i've got done to the bike currently and what are the plans for the bike but Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are excited, man. I hope you guys have been staying focused, staying active, chasing guys' dreams. Make sure you guys are doing what you guys need to do. But I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is riding. You feel me? like waking up and popping wheelies my boy so just trying about my music you know what I mean like I said I'm about to pull over in a bit show you guys what the bike looks like but yeah man a lot been going on behind the scenes with the bike man non-stop problems bro but hopefully we figure hopefully right now currently as you can see the bike is riding so that's a good thing and man, I tell you, boy, it's been a rough, rough journey with this bike, man. Woo! About to jump on the highway real quick, guys. Jump on the highway real quick. Woo! Yes, sir. But yeah, I left my gloves, so guys, don't worry about that. I accidentally left the gloves, but it is what it is. We ain't going too far. Man, the oil feels good. Not too hot, not too cold. It's perfect. I think it's supposed to be in like the mid 70s right now, if I'm not mistaken. Feels good. I don't know why I got a hoodie on right now. Feels good. No more December. Woo! 
Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully, I'm not being too loud. I think the mic is like right by my chin. Hopefully, I'm not being too loud. You guys let me know how the audio is because, yeah, damn. <laughs> I've been getting better with my clutch up. It's crazy. Little ball of rear. Let's see this Harley rider going say what's up. Let's see. There we go. Hold up my way. See? Some hard rides are cool. But well, some's a dick, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right, let me go over right here. Then yeah, I could have got off right here. Man, this light needs to hurry up. This bike is hot. <laughs> Try and just kick down. here so you guys can get an overview of the bike Woo! man that was a ride oh all right man so this is how the bike looks right now So you guys can see, um, get a new. this is how the bikes look right now guys, you can see it's a lot lower than before, so I'm officially two inches in the front and an inch in the rear, so right now as the bike sits as far as modifications, the only thing the bike has is um, block out plates and an uh, air filter. Otherwise from that, just a lowering link. And of course it's lowered in the front through the forks. And that's pretty much it, man. Otherwise from that, just the tank cover remove. As you guys can see, I heat wrapped it the air box. I tried my best to do it, but you guys know these CBR air boxes are a pain in the butt to wrap. But otherwise from that, man, got a new windshield. The old one that I had cracked, broke, I should say the bike fell. 
I was I was taking it off the sand the stand the little stand that you put on the rear wheel and I tried to take it off and the bike just fell and it broke it so this one is pretty newer I can still see through it all other than the older one it was real old and it had stickers on it and the stickers were dried up so I can see nothing but yeah man this is how the bike sits right now it has no brand new tires otherwise from that nothing else if you guys I know guys gonna ask what is this this is the OEMC but I just took the rubber paddings and stuff off it and just a lot of people ask it if, if it's comfortable honestly it is until you start hitting bumps when you start hitting bumps on the freeway then you start feeling it but otherwise than that that's pretty much it man um as far as plans for the bike um no real plans right now we just to uh, enjoy the bike as is until you know i start getting into other stuff of course i want to get the new flarings i want to get new flarings for the bike but that's later on but for now bike is cool man i if you guys follow me on instagram you guys would know i had a boozer fender on the front but don't be like me i never had the rubber grommets inside of it and eventually i caused a vibration and stuff like that it just broke off but um yeah man bike is cool as it is right now i really enjoy the bike as far as like i said i had a bunch of problems with the bike you know electrical issues and stuff like that but eventually i eventually found those stuff and i figured them out a little by a little but the bike is cool man it's an older bike so you know older bikes they come with a lot of problems so you know i'm slowly figuring out the problems and just working with them but as you can see the bike rides you know what i mean you guys see me i'm doing wheelies i'm having fun i'm you know i'm doing what i'm supposed to do so the bike is serving its purpose right now so so there's nothing that needs to get done on the bike that's urgent you know what i mean just to enjoy the bike and just ride as much as i can so from now on you know i'm going to see a lot of riding videos you know what i mean linking up with other people but for now it's just to enjoy the bike you know what i mean and just have as much fun as possible you know so we're going to get back to riding and yeah man hope you guys are enjoying the video i know there hasn't been a lot of talking it's just me riding around it's just you know i mean that's me i would like to ride and have fun so let's get back to riding yes sir i think i'm gonna go back that way and start heading back to the crib because you know what i mean that boy got some stuff to do but just wanted to come out here, give you guys a quick video, you know what I mean? Get the adrenaline pumping a little bit, get back that feel of, you know, having fun on the bike. And yeah, man, I need some gas. That's what I need, I need some gas. Feel me, me and the bike. Them 30 rolls hit, boy! I'm telling you, man, them 30 rolls, them 30 rolls hit. In second gear, that wheel comes up. Yeah, I need to get a new chain and sprocket. Uh, I'm thinking of going about maybe a tooth down in the rear, leaving it stock in the front, kind of feel it out, see how that goes. Cause you guys know these CBRs they don't make power, you know what I mean? They don't make power, so I feel like eventually I might have to switch to alternative fueling, like maybe E85. I'm thinking MR12, but it's an older bike, you know what I mean? Like I don't think it's gonna really do too much, you know what I mean? So. Well, yeah, man, I don't know, guys. Them new um, Jigsaw R's been growing on me a lot. I haven't made a... I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really a big fan of Jigsaw's. I feel like, especially in the 600 scenes, I feel like 600 riders, Jigsaw riders, give them a bad rep. So, but these new Jigsaw 1000 R's, they've, they've been growing on me a lot. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, ride them and I don't know the color schemes and just motor wise what they can do motor wise it's just been growing me on, on me a lot so i feel like eventually if i go to a 1000 i think i'll get a jigster don't get me wrong the k67 the the bmw 1k s1k those are 
these are monsters, but I feel like nothing beats the Jigster right now. But the second gear, boy. That's not good. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna drop back on the freeway and head back to my side of town, man. But I don't know if you guys see that, but the second gear. Yeah, man. This bike, this bike, boy, this bike got a lot of potential, man. Trust me. This bike surprises me a lot, bro, and this bike surprises me a lot, man. Let's see what I can do. I need space, time away to fly away to go. Let's see what I Yeah, this is the right away, man. Drop it in the comments, bro. I miss the right away, baby. You jump on the freeway real quick. I mean. Woo! I tell you, man, these Harley riders are cool. I think it's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell up, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one.